Elgato is sponsoring me to help you do basic setup of your Elgato Wave 1 microphone. What do I mean by that? Well, where we're at right now in the tutorial is we've got the mic out of the box, we've got it off of its table stand, I've got it mounted right here on my boom stand uh, in my studio, and it is plugged in to the USB jack on my computer. We've confirmed that it's turned on because there's a power up uh, white circle, if you press the button red circle around the mic, and it is ready now to begin the basic setup in my computer to get this thing up and running. Got it? That's where we're at right now in the setup process. Watch my previous videos if you want to catch up to this step. So in order to do the basic setup, before we do Wavelink software, before we do anything advanced, we need to do our basic settings in Windows first before we do the advanced stuff. So what you're going to do down here in Windows is you're going to go down to the search bar and you're gonna type in sound. And you're going to see sound settings over here as an option. That's the menu that we're gonna go into right now, okay? Sound settings. And so we're gonna click that. It's gonna pull open this menu. And then what you're gonna do from this menu is you're gonna go into my favorite place for audio on a PC at least, which is your sound control panel. And you're gonna click that. Whenever you do, it's gonna bring up this sound uh, menu here. There's gonna be multiple tabs over here. Playback and recording are the two that we're going to be concerned with. So if you want to playback audio, through the headphone jack on the Elgato Wave mic. Uh, what am I talking about? I'm talking about the headphone jack that's right here on the back of the microphone. See the headphone jack back here? If you're plugging headphones into the back of the mic and you wanna listen through that, then you are going to use the headphones Elgato Wave 1 device as your playback device here in Windows. Uh, so what does that mean? Well, what you're gonna do is you're going to go to the device, you're gonna right click it, you're gonna set it as default communication device and also default device. And you'll see the check mark next to the device to confirm that it is your default device. Okay, if you are going to play back your audio through some other source on your computer, let's say your speakers or your headset or whatever it is, you'll need to scroll down your list of playback options here, and then you'll need to set whatever that other option is as your default device instead. So let's say I wanted to do speakers instead, I could set that as my default device. So make sure you choose the correct playback option here whenever you're first setting up your microphone. Then, once you've selected it, let's say you're assuming you're gonna use your headphones with the Elgato Wave 1, you're gonna right click whatever your playback device is and go to properties. Here within properties, there's just a few settings you wanna double check. You wanna make sure that your levels are where you're comfortable, and you can click the levels button here under headphones and it'll go bloom, 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 and play a sound back. Play that sound back and adjust your headphone or your volume uh, based on what you want inside of Windows. You can also adjust the volume directly on the microphone itself right here using the uh, monitor playback uh, knob and you can crank it up here on the mic and when you crank it up on the mic, watch this, I'm gonna turn it up on the mic, it turns it up in the computer when you do that, watch. I turn the knob down here and notice how it changed the volume in the computer. So this actually digitally controls the Windows volume of the microphone in the computer. Pretty sweet, right? That's how that works. So you can do it physically on the microphone or you can do it digitally within the computer. It's the exact same thing with this mic. You're gonna to wanna to look at enhancements and disable all enhancements in my opinion. I'm gonna click disable. Then under advanced, what you're gonna do is just make sure that it's set up on two channel, 24 bit, 48,000 Hertz. That's just gonna maximize it, make sure it's studio quality audio, and it is okay to allow applications to take exclusive control of this device, because later you'll, you will be installing the official Elgato software, Wavelink software, that you will want to take control of this particular device. Spatial sound off, got it? Those are the playback options that you're going to want to make here. Now let's go over to the recording tab. So click the recording tab here in Windows, and you'll see all sorts of devices on your computer, but obviously the one we're gonna be concerned with right now is the mic in, which is your Elgato Wave 1 microphone. So we're going to click that and we're gonna make sure that we're right clicking it and we're making that the default device on your computer uh, for capturing audio. Then once you've done that, you'll have the green check mark there. You right click and go to properties. 
Within the properties menu, we're gonna just double check a bunch of settings. You can choose what you want the microphone to be called. I like calling it mic in because that helps me understand what it will show up as in my mixer later. Choose something that makes sense for your brain here in terms of the name. You can rename it that. It'll show up as that name in OBS and Wavelink software and everywhere else. Take advantage of that feature, okay? Then you're gonna go to listen. Make sure you are not listening to the device here because you're gonna to wanna to do that later um, through uh, other monitoring methods. Under levels, you wanna go ahead and start out your levels of this microphone at around 75, in my opinion, and then you can adjust the levels later depending on how loud your voice is. 75 is a good starting place for this particular mic. You are going to not click disable all enhancements on the microphone, why? Because we are going to add enhancements later through the Elgato Wavelink software, so don't click any buttons here, just leave it the way it is. And then when you go to the advanced tab, you do want to make sure that you are allowing exclusive mode because Wavelink software is going to take control of the mic. And then you wanna make sure that you've got 24-bit studio quality, 48,000 Hertz selected here so that you have maximum audio quality with this particular mic in your basic setup. Once you've completed all those steps, you're gonna hit X, then you're gonna hit X on sound, and you can close out all of your sound settings, and now your microphone has the basic settings it needs to be able to move into the next step, which is to install the Wavelink software, which is really the secret sauce of this mic, which makes it so incredibly good. If you wanna pick up the mic and the official accessories for it, links in the description below. Have fun. Adios.